I thought we'd have a little fun here. Way Luigi, it's Way Luigi, Way Luigi. Uh, Way Luigi, this is everybody loves Way Luigi or Wa Luigi. I would say it's Wa Luigi because you have to remember your Japanese pronunciations. There are 46 characters in the Japanese alphabet, whether it's katakana or hiragana. It does not fucking matter. Uh, there's additional characters like Vu, like Steven, right? If you're writing Steven in uh, katakana, but we won't worry about that. We're looking at Waluigi. He first appeared in Mario Party 3. And what I want to do is uh, somebody posted this on Twitter and I know people love the character. I mean, I, I, he appears as a trophy in the uh, past Super Smash Brothers games, but he's not a playable character. People want him as a playable character. So let's take a look at Waluigi. I don't know when his birthday or anniversary is. I'm assuming maybe we're coming upon it. Uh, so let's take a look at... We're just going to look at the backstory of Waluigi. I think this is for Mario Tennis. There's other things in here. So let's take a look at this. We're going to zoom in on stuff. So this is NDW. Going back to Waluigi, how did you come up with this personality? This is Takahashi Shugo, or Shugo Takahashi. I always pronounce the last name first, first name last. He's a hard worker who had lived in obscurity for a long time and sees Luigi as something of a rival. We came up with the original draft for him and asked Nintendo to correct any potential issues, but there were almost no corrections. Mario Superstar Baseball. And this is the exhibition record. So here is a screenshot. Luigi's, while Luigi is Luigi's eccentric rival, while Luigi is a hardworking player who has been training night and day to gain enough power to best Luigi, the eggplant that his uh, liar ball, liar ball delivers is said to have the power to make those who touch it almost lose their lunches. Uh -huh. I, I, I would have liked it if, you know, in Superboy, there's a, there's a classic show called Superboy and Superboy creates Bizarro. With a mad, with a scientist, and so Bizarro is like Bizarro Superman, right? But if while Luigi was created as a clone of Luigi, that would have been funnier. That would have been much better. But I don't know. I guess he's just some guy that came out of fucking nowhere. It's kind of weird. Like I don't know if I, how I feel about that. Now here you can see this is Waluigi. Okay, I'll show you how you know. Waluigi. There you go. You have learned some Japanese today. You did a good thing. Uh, so there's the Japanese in the back, but we have the English translation. W Wario's partner, an eccentric who thinks of himself as Luigi's rival, in order to accumulate... This is Mar Mario Portal. What is Mario Portal? What is that? Okay, I got. we have to look up Mario po Portal before we're done here. In order to, to accumulate the power to fight Mario and Luigi, it seems that he per per perseveres in a hidden place so he also has a quite hard-working side. Since his arms and legs are long, he also participates in sports that make the best use of them. Waluigi. This is Mario Tennis explanation. The newest member, question mark, of the Mario family. Just like Wario sees Mario as his rival, Waluigi, a new character to the Mario world, sees Luigi as his. With his bulging eyes, elongated face, and slender build, while Luigi is like an exaggerated version of Luigi in every way, and for some reason is burning with a strong sense of rivalry towards him. Just why is Luigi on his mind so much? According to one theory, while Luigi, who was apparently the same age as Luigi, watched the Mario Brothers rise to superstar status, them having been the Mario World's number one plumbers, having been risking their lives uh, fighting Bowser to save Princess Peach, having been superstars even in the hobby of golf, having been prominent racing drivers and so on, and said, just you wait, I could do it too, and worked his way up, building enough strength to be able to compete with the Mario Brothers. Uh, that's, oh my God. Before Waluigi though, I, I'll, I'll show you the, the, I think they probably got from this guy, but let me see. And as a result of his efforts, he has finally been selected for the Mario Tennis League as the famous lost tennis player of the Mario world. Everyone in the Mario family is supportive of the hard-working but goofy-looking Waluigi. But having spent long parts of his life in obscurity, Waluigi is surprisingly standoffish to everyone's kindness. He could be aiming to defeat the Mario Brothers and claim the superstar title for himself. What kind of trouble will the sneaky Waluigi stir up? We'll have to keep a careful eye on the Mario world from now on. So that's the explanation for that. Um, 
Not much of an explanation, is it? But that's what we got for Waluigi. Now, I have a working theory. This is the Purple Pie Man. The peculiar Purple Pie Man, better known as the Purple Pie Man, or simply known as the Pie Man, is the main antagonist of the Strawberry Shortcake franchise. He is a mischievous, greedy baker who often seeks to undermine Strawberry Shortcake and her friends. Now, this is either Waluigi's dad, or this is Waluigi in the future. Like, he got he grew tired of trying to compete with the Mario Brothers and decided to go after Strawberry Shortcake. Now... That's the only thing I can think of that reminds me of Waluigi. Uh, let's get a closer look at this guy, if we can. That is him. That is him right there. That is the Purple Pie Man. And I, I, he hasn't really changed much. Uh, the Strawberry Shortcake and her friends have changed, but not, not the Purple Pie Man. But tell me uh, what you think, if we're right or wrong about this. you think the Purple Pie Man is Waluigi? Uh, it's just a website. So Mario, introducing the Mario Portal website where you can find various uh, kinds of information related to the Mario series is available in English. So that's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little look at Waluigi. And um, yeah, more content to come this week. I hope I can come out with better content than before. Uh, it's just been, I'm just been sad and depressed, but what can you do? It's always that way. When 2%... Uh, of my audience is returning and 98% is new. Where'd you all go? Can you all come back? Please come back to my channel. We all love you. I love it when you come the first time, but I love it more if you all return.